Hi, the next modulator we're going to learn is called the random. Out of all modulators, this one is the easiest to comprehend. It's often used to bring in some small errors peculiar to an analog gear. It can also help with imitating human inaccuracy at live performance. To show how it works, I'm going to use M Noise Generator, generating the white noise and M Auto Dynamic EQ with a peak band. I pointed the random modulator to the band's frequency parameter. Let it cover the entire range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. I set bands gain to plus 24 decibels and quality to 6. I'm also going to use a sonogram. The curve that the sonogram is drawing represents the modulation signal in time. Now to the modulator itself. The modulator has two modes, smooth and steps. It runs in the smooth mode right now. As you can see, the modulator generates a random smooth signal. The smoothness parameter regulates the degree of how smooth the modulation is. You can notice though that even with the smoothness set to zero, the modulation still stays seamless. In the step mode, the modulator produces a random signal with fixed values. Now, the smoothness parameter sets the number of steps. For example, if I set it to two or less, I get two extreme values the modulation randomly alternates between. In this example, they are 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. If I set the smoothness to three, for instance, I get an extra third value at 632.5 hertz. The smoothness equal to 4 will give me 4 values, 20, 200, 2000 and 20,000 Hz. Thus, all values get evenly distributed on a frequency axis and they're selected in a random order. The speed parameter controls how often the new values are generated according to the host tempo. At 0%, the rate is equal to a quarter note. At 100%, the rate will be an eighth note. and correspondingly, a half note at minus 100%. Besides, any change in the speed parameter leads to a new sequence of values. The synchronize to LFO allows you to sync the random modulator to the normal one. The speed parameter still matters. But now, 100% is two times speed, 200% is four times speed, etc. As in all other modulators, the LFO modulation mixes a signal from the normal modulator. It's a balanced type of controller. That is, at 0% we have only the random signal. At 50% there will be 50-50 mix, the random and normal signal, and 100% we'll get only the normal modulation. The projection is an additional modulation signal shape modifying tool. It works similar to a wave shaper in audio domain. However, in this case, it uses the normal modulator signals shape to redistribute local values. As an example, I'm going to use the step mode with 10% smoothness. It gives me 10 values that the modulator randomly generates, evenly distributed along the frequency axis. Now, if I turn on the projection button, the values will be shifted towards 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz off center, provided the normal modulator runs the sine wave. If the square waveform is used, then half of random values will become 20 hertz and another half minus 20 kilohertz. The phase defines the beginning of a wave segment of the normal modulator on 100% time axis. The interval is a length of the segment and thus it sets the end of it. By default, it's 50%, which is half of wave's period. The last thing to remember is the random modulation repeats itself with every playback. Now, when you're familiar with the random modulator, let's have a look at the examples I played at the beginning of this tutorial. Here, I wanted the drum loop to sound as if it was played by a real drummer. First thing you notice listening to live performance is that every hit the drummer does doesn't sound the same. To emulate this, 
I decided to randomize some characteristics of the sounds. It's actually quite simple. Here is the original loop. It sounds repetitious, especially the ride. And why wouldn't it? It's just a single sample. If it was played by a real drummer, then every hit would be slightly different in tone. To mimic this, I utilize M Autodynamic EQ. Here is what I did. I appointed the band's frequency parameter to the random modulator. I chose the step mode because I wanted the frequency to stay at the same value after a hit. However, it must change with the next hit. The speed must follow the length of the notes. In the given example, it's 1 8th. Consequently, I must set the speed to 100%. Now, the modulator will generate a new value every 1 8th note. Parameters like the band's gain and harmonics, the modulator's range, are set by ear. And here is the result. I did pretty much the same on the Rimshot track. The difference is I synchronized the random to LFO and used its sync and phase parameters to make the random generate values just before Rimshot hits. For hi-hat part, M multiband transient was used to randomize the instrument's transients. I wanted each hi-hat sound to have a different attack. For that, I linked the attack controller and the random modulator to set the range in the parameters panel to my liking. Simple, isn't it? That's all for now. Happy modulating.